First meeting in Kansas City, Missouri, 1997 NCAA tourney. Tigers got a 12-point win then on their way to the Sweet 16. Shot clock under 10. Hunter Tyson driving inside on Delonte Brown. There's Hall. Down to 32% beyond the arc. Brad Brownell says he doesn't want to necessarily see him live out there. Miami shoots 46% from the floor. They've missed their first couple. Collins hung up. Inside, though, there's Hall. Team that's been really good beyond the arc, but a tough start from long range. And let's see if they count it. They will. Tyson, give him the appropriate amount of face. you got to let them land. They're not going to let them get loose for any open shots. Red Hawks, a team, trying to get their first lead of the night. Inside, rebound, and the putback by Precious Aya, the native of Nigeria. His strength, especially on the interior defensive side of the ball, is terrific. Nas Bohannon, little baby hook in front of the basket. Guys really enjoy playing for him. And uh, he's got Miami of Ohio rolling. Last season was their first winning season in over eight years. You're not going to see Miami get too sped up in the half court. They're going to take their time and get good shots. My J. White leads them at 52% on three. His first three-point effort of the night. He's one of two now beyond the arc. Hunson looking to build its biggest lead so far. Bo Hannon, the pull-up. A guy from Ohio. Put together a nice program here at Miami, Ohio. And the first time that he's had all the guys he recruited on the roster. Really nice feed. Conference on this Miami roster. And they limit the turnovers. Just over nine a game among the top 20 in the NCAA. And boy, you see how much they've missed James Beck despite the 5-3 and three start. I agree with that. This is a team that's found its rhythm offensively. The key is... Getting stops and trying to stop the likes of one of the top scorers in the MAC in Day Day Grant, or even up at 14 apiece. Well, this is what he can bring to your team a late clock. He can pull up in your face, or he can go right around you. The coaches in that conference do an excellent job, and it's really well scouted. This could very well be a quality win for a Clemson team if they're able to advance through tonight. He's back in front, led by as many as half a dozen here in the opening half. Little pull up by Grant. Just four combined fouls. Tigers with three of them in what's been a reasonably physical game. As we said, some bodies flying on the floor. Kick in the corner. Aya. And Collins the rebound. Pushing the pace. Hall. Oh, nice catch. Nice finish. And Clemson moves back in front. Nice pass. Or not a great pass by David Collins, but he was still able to get it there because P.J. has such quality hands. And that time, McNamara averages 3.8 a game, but it's 42% from the field. Clemson just with its five, uh, fifth turnover moments ago. Hunter on the miscommunication. Again, McNamara that time right over Hall. I would think that's a tough matchup for Grant. Collins probably the best on-ball defender, wow. but look at that. Grant changing hands in the air. McNamara made a couple of baskets to help build the lead out to four. Grant with Collins out defending, but not close enough. The ball is sticking. Guys are dribbling a little too, too long if you're Clemson. Here's Dawes. His first three of the night and his first points. And Alamir Dawes able to make it a 27-25 game. And we've seen in the past through the first nine games this season for Clemson, when they need a basket, they usually go to Nick Honor or they go to Alamir Dawes. And Day Day Grant doesn't care about anybody's feelings. 12-point first half. He averages nearly 16 a game. He was bothered with the flu in their game against Indiana State. And he only scored four, but this guy's starting to heat up, closing in on 30 made threes this season. Well, we talked about it. During overtime against Drake, him and Nick Honor combined for 13 of the 16 points. But Miami of Ohio just keeps knocking down shots. They got limited to four in their... Heartbreaking loss in Terre Haute, Indiana in their last game. Honor driving inside. Count it. And he's fouled. Plenty coming your way at halftime, so stay tuned. Honor on a nice feed by Bohannon. Looked like he was too far under, but he's able to shed Larry. And Nick Honor picks up the pace. Tigers with the ball and a lead for the first time in a while. Hemingway off the catch and shoot. Forget about it. Brown kicks in the corner. White, big three for the best 
Long range marksman for the Miami Red Hawks, making it a one point game at the half. Larry trying to work away from Dawes. He gets a lot of attention. Shot clock at five. Back to Larry. Oh, my goodness. Back I was to about to big. say, a huge, I mean, a great way to start out your defense. Again, kind of that stagnation we saw offensively by the Tigers in the first half. We witnessed to start the second half. They have yet to score since coming out of the locker room, but Collins able to end that in a hurry. He's somebody that the Tigers have really benefited from bringing that additional score to the guys that they brought back from last season. Other end, wow. But Makai Larry was on his way down as he got that one to go. The problem is not only do you have to worry about him coming off screens, but you got to worry about him off the dribble too. And David Collins has his hands full. Day Day Grant is playing like a grown man. Brown likes to shoot it from outside as well. Hits him at 44%, second on their team. Tigers in a cold spell to say the least. Nearly three minutes without points, but Alamir Dawes, as he did in the first half when things were sluggish. And Larry going to pull up, starting to feel it. Bohannon got out to defend, but not suit enough. you got to love it. He's been in the league for a while. Back when you were playing, of course, he wasn't a veteran ACC official at that point. Alex Hemingway is showing you a little catch and shoot with a turnaround jet. And you have to be pleased with Beck. If you're Miami, because he has brought you offense out of nowhere, Hunter Tyson with a big shot. If they can get a stop, obviously they only help things. Grant, looks like Dawes might have gotten a hand on it. Beck rejected by Tyson. Emphatically rejected by Tyson. In this Miami team, they play so many COVID seniors that they're as old as a lot of professional teams are right now. Another three for Day Day Grant. Out of the NCAAs last year when Ohio took down Virginia. And this is a conference that has got uh, enough teams that they don't beat each other up enough. Boy, scrappy defense under the basket. Bo Hannon, good ball handler for a big man in the front court. Dawes, the blow by, and the finish. Aya heads to the bench, and Brown quickly back in after getting a brief rest. And so is Larry. Here's Hemingway. How about that? Continues his perfect night, and he'll try to make it a four-point play. If you beat me off the dribble, that's fine. I have help behind me, but I'm not going to let you extend over the top. Seven turnovers apiece. Dawes. And the putback. Tyson inside. Back to a two-point game. Hemingway gets the attention of White. Tyson out front. Hunter Tyson. That was a big shot. A two-possession ball game, and there was no hesitation. Another turnover, Dawes. Alamir Dawes has 13. He's one of four in double figures. Larry changed hands in the air, couldn't get it to go. Collins, other end, little spin. A kick, Tyson again. Same spot, Pete, same spot. Hunter Tyson, he loves that top of the key three. And for now, it stops the bleeding for the Red Hawks. A little bit of pressure applied by White. Bohannon in the corner to Collins. And that's a backbreaker. You try to speed up the tempo a little bit if you're Miami. Another game of better than 50% as a team beyond the arc. Tigers have hit 12 of 23. Three-pointers looking for the answer and a big delivery. Five straight points for Isaiah coleman lands The next minute and a half until the last media timeout is going to be huge if you're a Red Hawks fan. Bohannon almost had it taken away by Aya. Instead, takes him to the hole. And over the last 10 or so possessions, Clemson has gotten back to a oh, great pass by Alex Hemingway. Defensively, Clemson has gotten back. Now it's Bohannon. Eight points for him. One of his better scoring games in his lone season for Clemson. Coleman lands. Just a 25% three-point shooter coming in. Back to a 10-point game. And again, a haunting look potentially here the past couple of games against Miami and Drake big second half leads got away nice feed Bohannon the passer Hemingway finishes Dawes defended by Larry works around a screen Collins from way out oh the Tigers have been red hot and they've been all in rhythm they have let the offense work with them they've set themselves up for success and they've swarmed on the basketball in the ball game, Tigers top five in the NCAA in three-point percentage coming in at 42%. Larry quickly 
from end to end showing to the speed. He's had a good second half. Should turn out to be a really good player for this team. Red Hawks need to score in a hurry. Grant. And a little finger roll. Nice job to get by Tyson. Dawes hung up in the backcourt. Tyson. Bohannon. Count it. Especially when they get into conference play. Guy has been hot in the second half, hitting threes. No for Coleman Lands, but up and in for Aya on the offensive rebound of the putback. Six Tigers in double figures on the evening, led by Alex Hemingway's career-high tying 17 points. There's the final buzzer.